So the way that the select sort works is that we have, let's say we have a list of numbers, is um, we start at position zero, so we start here, and we go through the list and we try and find the smallest thing in the list. In fact, we do find the smallest thing in the list. Okay? And we swap the smallest thing in the list with the thing at position zero. So we're done with position zero. We go to position one. We start at position one. And we go through and we find the smallest thing in the list. We take the smallest thing in the list and we swap it with the thing at position one. Okay? Now we're done with position zero and position one. We go to position two. We go through the list and we find the smallest thing in the list and we swap it with the thing at position two. Now we're done with position 0 and position 1 and position 2. We do the same for position 3, and we do that until we get to the end of the list. Okay. So we're t taking the first position, we're finding the smallest thing in the list, and we're swapping it with the thing at position 1. We end up with a sorted list. What's the complexity of that sort? So let's think about how many comparisons we do. In the first case, we're at position zero. We've got to compare the second thing with our element at position zero, the third thing with our position thing at position zero, the fourth thing with our element at position zero, and the fifth thing with our element at position zero. Okay? So in the first case, we have to do n minus one comparisons. Yeah? Then in the second case, we've moved over one, so now we have to do n minus two comparisons. Then in the third case, we do n minus three comparisons. And so we're doing n minus one plus n minus two plus n minus three plus n minus four all the way up until we have just two comparisons left. This, of course, is n times n minus 1 over 2, which is big O of n squared. Okay. So the select sort is big O of n squared, and it's big O of n squared in the best case, the worst case, and the average case, because we don't know a priori where the smallest thing is. And so even if our list is sorted in the best case, we still have to go through and compare n minus 1 things, and then n minus 2 things, and then n minus 3 things, and then n minus 4 things. Right. So a select sort is big O of n squared, best, worst, and average. And we can do it in place, because we don't have to take everything out make a new copy of the list, and then put it back in. Okay? So it's in place, and it's average, worst, and best complexity is big O of n squared.